Hey, we got the Rotten Tomatoes guy on uh, on the phone app. I oh. like Matt. I can't pronounce his last name. Matt, how do you say your last name there? Tomatoes. Matt. Oh, Matt Tomatoes. Hi, Matt, Matt Tomatoes. Matt. <laughs> Joe Beckett told me. What's going on, Matt? <laughs> uh, you know, it's uh, early morning here on the West Coast. Uh, just got back from seeing uh, Prince of Persia last night. Right. Ah. I hear that's a fucking dud. Uh, you know, actually, it's okay. It's okay. It's, 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 you know, it's not a brilliant movie, but I had fun. How did I, little I Donnie Darko become a uh, fucking action hero? Uh, yeah, and he's what totally happened? buffed out of this. Not Ooh, is he? <laughs> Tell us yeah. more. Wow. wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, they've turned him into an action hero. He's not the little twerp that he used to be. How did that happen? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know, I guess you do the gay cowboy movie and you got to get bulked up. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Jesus Christ. What is he, on the roids? <laughs> That's what it looks like. You can't get a body like that. How do you do that on the so, so fast? There's no uh, way. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. But, you know, it, it, if you like a movie like The Scorpion King, this one's not bad. It's th- kind of fun. You know, it's kind of throwaway, cheesy action movie. You know, they, there's no testing in Hollywood. You think a lot of these guys uh, do the roids for some of their movie roles? Because then they, uh, then, I, they, I, then they can sure tap out. Mm-hmm. I'm sure some of them. It's not like a wrestler that has to do has roids to keep doing it. year after year after year or football players. If you're, yeah. if you're a guy, you're going to be an action, action movie star. Why not do a cycle of roids to get the body uh, where mm-hmm. it needs to be? And then you, then you, you get rid of that crap. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure some of them do. Yeah. And, and uh, that, that movie's getting 59% on your website. Uh, right now, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, which puts it right in rotten territory. But I, I got to tell you that we're going to have to put something up later today that's going to be our list of. Uh, ranking all the video game movies of all time, and it's even at fifty nine percent, it's still number one. Oh, it is. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Yeah. Uh, the bar is set low. Could you give us like the top five? Uh, you know, I don't have the top five in front of me. I can tell you that number two is. Uh, do you remember that fi- that terrible Final Fantasy movie from a few years back? Oh, all right. Completely CGI. That's at like number forty three percent. Yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah, I mean, they're all terrible. Like, so vi- all video game movies are just. Bad. Yeah, that's the point you're going to be making on the website. Yeah, they just suck. Why? Why do they suck? Eh? Uh, I don't know. They just—it seems like they would be perfect for the, for the, a fucking movie. The game is a game is a game. It's fucking fun to play. It's you, you're immersive. You're in there, and you've you've done it. Right. And then to watch other people. So now you're going to sit and watch other people kind of act out the game. But it, why it, can't they figure it out? Oh. My own. If I could figure it out, I, uh, we'd be, be, uh, fucking be billionaires. rich. I'd be uh, rich. <laughs> now, uh, there's a lot of talk, Matt. Uh, Sex in the City, too. It's, uh, it's the sequel. The girls are getting back together for, for an adventure Let overseas. Me say, before you say uh, anything about this movie, I just want to say it looks fantastic. It sure does. That's all Anthony. I'm saying. I think the word you're looking for is fabulous. Fabulous? Fabulous. Uh-oh. Fabulous. Now, another review came out today in one of the New York papers, one star. Yesterday, I think uh, one of the papers gave it two to two and a half stars here in New York. And as we go to your fine website, Sex and the City 2, the sequel, 7% positive reviews. How many reviews is that, though? Uh, it was uh, eight or nine reviews last time I checked. Eight or nine. But the, yeah. it, El Stinko. It's up to 28 reviews now. 28 yeah. reviews and only 7% positive reviews. What's, what's the problem with this movie there, Matt? You know, I, I can't tell you. I'm going to see it tonight, unfortunately. Oh. Uh, I was really hoping I wasn't going to have to see it, and now I have to. Um, yeah. It, you know, the problem is it sounds like it's just bad. Like, you know, I, I mean, I never saw the show. I never watched the show. But, I, you know, my friends who watched the show would say that, you know, it was kind of sharp and witty and if you were into that kind of thing, and that the movie is just... It's just crappy. It's just badly written, and the women come off as shrill, and it's just it doesn't have any of the wit. You know, if you were at if you were at all a fan of the original TV show, the the movies have completely uh, lost. I'll, I'll tell you what the problem is. It's very very obvious. The, the the women got too fucking old. Get some young broads in there, recast the damn thing, and there start the go. franchise over. If there's an audience for it, right? They yeah, do that with I, I, with all the other do. franchises. Sure. Fucking young, young Kirk, we get reimagining. Now. It's re-imagining. A reimagining. Just reimagine it as if these uh, yeah. uh, get, hags aren't in it. Get the hot broads and and the cougar. If you recast the cougar, make her twenty eight years old. Twenty eight year old cougar. Twenty eight year old cougar is what I'm thinking. <laughs> Was she a teacher going for uh, elementary school? Kids? Yeah. And Carrie, make sure she doesn't look like a fucking horse. <laughs> it's yeah. not that hard. Recast the fucking thing.
<laughs> uh, I was reading, though, uh, Liza Minnelli does a cameo in Sex and the City, too. Oh, thank God for that. They yeah. said it is so fucking painful. She's on screen for 20 minutes. They say it feels like a, 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 an, an eternity. Do you know anything about 20 minutes or 20 seconds? 20 minutes is how how, how much time she got in this fucking what? movie. What? Liza Minnelli. It's a lot of fucking time. Yeah. This is the one where she's in Mexico and she's over a stool and a donkey is fucking her? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 they, they, go to, movie. they go to Dubai and that's what happened. Oh, you know oh. how to answer that. Thank you, Matt, because we weren't <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, but the women are going to love it, right? Uh, yeah, you know, it, it, I hear from my friend at Fandango that... Uh, they you have are, a friend at Fandango? Yeah, believe it or not. Word on the street. What do you guys uh, do? Uh, you know, they, um, they're telling me that it's about 88% per, uh, of the pre-sale tickets for this weekend are for uh, Sex and the City. So it's going to do huge business. What? Huge business. Yeah, really? Why? It's like the last movie because it's, what happens is, is, you know, you have groups of women going to see this. It'd be like, you know, it's the movie equivalent of Lilith Fair. Well, we, what, what we find funny <laughs> is Fair. what you're seeing is groups of women of four, and they get together, and they all know which character, you know, they are. Right, you think they right. sit there and elbow each other in the theater and go, you would do that. That's you. Look at what she's You're doing. the whore in our group. Do you remember when you were sucking a cock <laughs> right. like that? And <laughs> yes, yes. How does. many cocks did you suck at your own wedding, you whore? <laughs> <laughs> Yuck! I don't. I just don't understand it. Uh, yeah, uh, all doesn't right. look like my kind of uh, movie. What other movies, man? I mean, uh, you know, it's time for the summer movies. Uh, what are you looking at that you think is going to do well there, Matt? You know, I think Get Him to the Greek next week is going to do pretty well. My friend Roland, who should work for your website because he sees every movie on the planet, uh, he says this movie is hilarious. Get, uh, yeah, get I, him to I, the I Greek. Thought it. it really is funny. Russell Brand is great. Yeah, it, he's really great. I mean, he's you know it's the character he played in Forgetting Sarah Marshall, <laughs> the rock star, right? All the snow, and it's just you know it's an hour and a half of him shenanigans. <laughs> Sorry, Matt, I I, I appreciate <laughs> you <laughs> discussing uh, get him to the Greek, but we're on one of our favorite uh, websites. Sarah 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 Jessica Parker looks like a horse. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, <laughs> have you ever seen this? Uh, I, I have seen that. Song. There are pictures <laughs> of Sarah Jessica Parker <laughs> right next to pictures of horses, and they're doing the same pose. Yeah, like they're doing the exact same head <laughs> movement. It's whoever great. runs the website put a lot of effort into their. They uh, must pictures. have looked at a lot of pictures. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you think she's uh, happy with this website? Eh? Oh yeah, probably. Any publicity so is good publicity. Absolutely, Absolutely. that's what they say. I disagree. Oh, literal Jim. <laughs> Wow. All right, it's sorry. The horses hate this site, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're insulted, you think? The horses are, are insulted. Like, I'm sorry. We, bitch? we interrupted your... Um, uh, get him to the Greek. Review. So you got uh, Russell Brand. But who P. Was... Diddy's in that? Yeah, we're not, we're not happy with the P. Diddy He's in this good. film Lord, there, Matt. P. Diddy is are hilarious good. in this movie. Is absolutely. he hilarious? I, I thought he was really funny. Mm. I thought he was really mm. funny. You know, you expect, like, serious, kind of boring P. Diddy, but... He, he gets really funny. Yeah, that, that oh. bothers us. We don't want to know that he was actually good in a fucking comedy. Now, there's a funny line where he's running. He goes, oh, you can't outrun me. I'm black. I'm like, cool. You don't really hear stuff like that in movies. <laughs> Is that a real line? Uh, I yeah. don't remember that It's one. in the trailer. Uh, it's in the trailer. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, boy. <sighs> well, Matt's liking the movie, though. And uh, and our friend Roland likes the movie. Yeah. And how's Seth Rogen in that? Uh, not uh, Seth. Seth uh, Rogen, uh, 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 Jonah, Jonah Hill, Hill, right? Jonah Hill. He's good. He's very good. Yeah. Uh, now, this um, A-Team movie that is coming out, is it like the TV show where no one gets killed? Uh, no, people get killed in this one. All right, good, because I always hated that. They could fire like 8,000 rounds at a van, and uh, everybody gets out, and they, uh, you what, know, what, arrest yeah, them. Well, okay. What movie started that craze where people don't die in a movies mo anymore? Smokey and the Bandit. I was just uh, thumbing through the channels last night. That was on, so I kind of fell asleep to it. Yeah. And they made sure they didn't show any of the sheriffs getting killed. Like, any time a car would roll, you'd see the guy get out of the car. Right. Yeah, yeah. but that was a comedy, so. Yeah, I'm talking about action films have to where acknowledge no one dies. That they, you didn't yeah. have to acknowledge that they lived through it. You I just could have figured it out. Yeah, okay. Knocking down people's mailboxes. That's uh, a man act. <laughs> is the A-team going to be a bomb? Uh, no, I think it's going to do okay. I think it's going to do pretty good business. I mean, I, I don't know that it's going to be a great movie, but it's, you know, Joe Carnahan who directed Smoke and Aces, which some people really like, some people didn't like. <laughs> Jim, um, Jimmy didn't like it, I guess. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it could be really cool. I, I'm hoping that it's going to do well, but who knows? Uh, you I wonder know, how Rampage Jackson's performance will be. 
<laughs> who I do like. Yeah, he's a funny guy. Yeah, I, I, you know, the clips that I've seen, he looks, he, he's good. You know, I, uh, the problem with the A-Team is it feels like it's one of those things where the studio says, oh, you know, that Rampage Jackson, he's funny, put him in a movie. And, mm. you know, Charles Hill Copley from uh, District 9, oh, he's a hot star, put him in a movie. It just feels like... One of those films where it's like they just get the hot stars and put them in, and there's not a lot of thought to it. Yeah, sure. All right. I mean, uh, the Karate Kid, Marmaduke. Fuck Marmaduke. No, I want to see that. That looks funny. Oh, Jim. Yeah. What? How about some of the Big movies? Marmaduke that, fan. What man. happens with Marmaduke? I have to know. Who's doing the voice? Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson. He'll be good. He'll be really good as Marmaduke. <laughs> What, what happens in Marmaduke? He gets rabies and has to be shot at the end of the movie. It's very sad. Very Is that the one, does movie. he put fucking peanut butter on his broken, awful nose and the dog licks it off? Because he thinks it's his cock? <laughs> Matt, comment. <laughs> shitty Marmaduke. I hope, I hope it ends. I hope it ends with fucking Owen Wilson getting paralyzed and the dog fucking well, his face. Well, we got a scene from Marmaduke on the screen in front of us, uh, Jimmy. You want to describe this for the uh, viewers? It's some lucky devil listeners. bent over and a gigantic <laughs> mastiff sticking his dick inside this person. <laughs> wow, they're getting a little little edgy in Hollywood. I can't believe they would actually yeah. have that in Marmaduke. This, Matt doesn't make a peep when anybody is making this Of course not. He, he has a real fucking yes. job and real career. Yes. You can see the little, Unlike he's got Mar the little mittens Unlike on the gloves. Yeah, is Marmaduke going to have oven mitts on that? <laughs> so he doesn't injure anybody while fucking their hineys? <laughs> Marmaduke. I fucking hate him. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> what about uh, what about Will Smith's kid and the the Karate Kid? Uh, you know, I, 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 that's a movie I didn't think they needed to be remade. Of course not. Well, I, and and it's a trend in Hollywood that really pisses us off, where they make really good, mo they remake really good movies that don't need yeah. to be remade, and they recast it with black people. That is a weird fucking trend in Hollywood. Yeah. Absolutely. They did that with uh, no, the Did it with Birth of a Nation. <laughs> 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 the fucking Honeymooners movie to this day pisses me the fuck off. Yeah, what was that one with Jack Black? <laughs> Can't think of it. Oh, oh wow! Shit. I can't think of it. <laughs> yeah, I can't either. Yeah. <laughs> but they didn't have to remake the Karate Kids, no. uh, the Karate Kid movie. No, I, I'm not hearing good things about it. Oh, you're not? How can no, you? It's going to be terrible. Weeks, I who, think it's going to be bad. Who's his mentor? Who's the guy who teaches him karate? Is it Gary Glitter? <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's Jackie Chan. Yeah, Jackie Chan is playing the um, the uh, Mr. Miyagi. Why don't they put a black person there? Why they have an Asian there? Uh, I, I don't know. Mm. I, I don't yeah. know the what is the what is the thrust of Marmaduke? What's the story about? <laughs> I, the, I, I think the the dog has fucking what? Well, is, what is it? Well, let's get the synopsis. It's yeah. on Rotten Tomatoes, right? Yes. Yes, it well, is. Marmaduke has a lump on his colon. Here, read it. Re read it legit, because even the, the the legit synopsis is gonna suck. Yuck. What does it say? <laughs> Playing the part of the dump truck will be. <laughs> Canine comic strip star Marmaduke leaps to the big screen with this family-friendly comedy starring Owen Wilson as the voice of the great Dane. Oh, he's the voice of Marmaduke. Yes. Also Jimmy. lending oh. their voices to the production are Steve Coogan, pop star for... No, how for, you say it right. I, I, I forgot how you said it. Forgy. 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 Pop star Forgy. 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 George Lopez and the brotherly duo of Damon and Marlon. Weigh-ins with William H Macy and Judy Greer heading up the human cast. Oh, there's a human cast what? and cartoons running around with humans. Yeah. What happens in this movie though? What's it about? Uh, Marmaduke uh, has sex with William H Macy's <laughs> wife, and then he kills himself after <laughs> shooting them in bed. And then uh, I hope they redo. I hope they remake. I hope they make the Family Circus <laughs> as a movie. Yes, that would yes. rule too. Oh, starring, uh, starring the Yates. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite scenes in movie history, by the way. Bound? Oh, okay. Bound? All right, then. Where, where you may see... What was the name of the movie? Where his wife's getting... Oh, oh yeah, oh. that was uh, Boogie Nights. Boogie Nights. Yeah. No, what about the other one? What? I just oh, know Boogie oh, Nights. Oh, what, which one am I thinking of with our... our That's blood? another guy. Michael Madsen with Anno Jimmy. Another guy. Uh, Jennifer yeah. Tilly. Yeah, who was the guy in the fucking... What are you, channeling Rich Voss? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looks like William H. Macy, though, I'm thinking. Um. All right. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, all the way, man. All the way <laughs> no, that to was fucking just, in. That was just the breaks. <laughs> uh, Matt. Yes. Splice, we saw the trailer. That looks like horse shit. 
Uh, you know, I, I haven't seen Splice yet, and it looks really weird, right? I, I've talked to a couple people who've seen it, and they said that it's kind of weird and kind of fucked up. And, and that's their review of it. And it's one of those things that if you like horror movies, it's like this really weird kind of sexual horror movie, like what species could have been. Mm. If you remember that crazy species movie? I think it looks like a grown-up version of um, Eraserhead's Baby. Uh, that yeah, splice that's creature. how it comes off. Yeah. Oh, by the way, here's a synopsis of Marmaduke. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mel, Mel Gibson is drunk driving home, yelling about Jews when he hears a dull thud. <laughs> <laughs> off his bumper in the hood of his car. <laughs> <laughs> the rest takes place in the veterinarian's office yeah. where the family has to cuddle Marmaduke while they pump the blue fluid into his veins. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's, he's just a broken Great Dane <laughs> as Mel Gibson drives away and he does another fine film. <laughs> and bitches about the Jews. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Yes. The end. <laughs> the getaway, by the way, was the answer to the uh, little question. Uh, I had. Oh, was that it? I love that fucking movie. Splice getting 86% uh, percent positive reviews on Rotten wow. Tomatoes, but only uh, a few reviews yeah. in so far, Matt. Yeah, it's, they haven't shown it very, very wide yet. Uh, we don't see it, you know, we won't be seeing screenings for it for another week and a half or so. Is there any truth to the rumor that Michael Vick makes a guest <laughs> appearance in Marmaduke? Oh, my God. <laughs> that would be great. How <laughs> great would that be? Hey, yeah. get everyone talking about the hey, movie. Marmaduke. Even if he's just an extra. Oh. He get, just arranges a fight with him and Scooby Doo. Yeah. <laughs> they go at it. <laughs> it's true. Then they both lick the box and ask that lesbian, the short hair. What was her name? <laughs> the fucking short haired lesbian. Velma? No, that would hang out with. Uh... I think Velma. Is that Velma? Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. We don't. I mean, there's a she million. Jerks scrappy off onto a rich one. <laughs> 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 Matt, there's a million movies. We don't have to Marma talk about Dyke. <laughs> <laughs> that stupid big neck sweater. <laughs> Hated her. Yeah, and marmalade, which she put on her box to get the dog to lick it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that sounds uh, good. I want to see that movie, Marmaduke. Yeah, me too. It's great. The way Jimmy describes it. Oh, it's great. Matt, what about put crushed glass in his elbow? <laughs> <laughs> Some shit blood all over the linoleum. <laughs> Imagine, I mean, how great would that be if the whole movie is Marmaduke just taking liquidy, bloody shits <laughs> in historic locations in front of the Mona Lisa? <laughs> I like the scene where William H. Macy is trying to just watch the ball game and eat a fucking prime rib. <laughs> and uh, Marmaduke eats it yeah. <laughs> when he stepped out of the room for a minute. And then William H. Macy winds up and kicks Marmaduke in the ribs. And uh, then Marmaduke dies um, shortly after of liver cancer. <laughs> Look, man, it was four years later. <laughs> well, okay. Relatively At speaking, least. it was a short time. At least. Marmaduke, what are you <laughs> doing right. down there? Come here, Mama Duke. In dog years, it was a long time, okay? What have you done to Mama Duke? <laughs> <laughs> Linga Langa. The people listening to us on Stars 2 ha have no idea. I have what no you're idea about. that Opie kicked my ex mother in law dog know in the ribs true. back years ago when we were in Massachusetts. Look, it was a nice prime rib, and the Knicks were in the fucking ah, playoffs. Chester deserves it. Uh, <laughs> any other uh, big blockbusters coming out for the summer? Uh, you know, Toy Story 3 will be really big. Yeah, it's going to be uh, huge. You know, I think uh, Last Airbender is going to be a bomb. What about Shrek? The Last uh, Shrek. Uh, Shrek is not good. It's not a good. Whoa! Movie. Really? Not really? A good movie. No, mm -hmm. I, it, I. My girlfriend and I went, and we took her six-year-old, and he even he didn't like it. Oh, Uncle yeah. Paul! <laughs> <laughs> you, you hadn't even started yet. <laughs> I want to go see Mama Duke. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna cut a hole in the bottom of the popcorn box. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> You go in there, get, get a dog treat. Seems you'll do pretty good if you bring wrestling photos. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Florentine. Yes. Wow, so, uh, all right, Shrek not getting good reviews here. Uh, 
Shrek's not good. I'll tell you the two movies that I think are going to be cool in July are, uh, I think that the uh, Robert Rodriguez Predators movie is going to be cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, right on. I think that one's going to be good, and yeah. I think Inception is going to be really, really awesome. Inception? What's that about? That's the uh, Chris Nolan movie, the guy that directed the Batman, the last two Batman movies, mm -hmm. Leonardo DiCaprio, and he plays this like corporate spy who's out of people's dreams and it looks like this total head trip movie and I just think it's going to be really cool. That sounds good. I, I no. saw the trailer last night for the first time. It, it looks visually really good. Yeah, it's one of those things where, you know, if you remember coming into the Matrix, like you'd see the trailers for the Matrix and it looked interesting and you didn't really have any idea what it was about then you get in the movie and you're, th you know, if you're like I am, you thought, oh man, this movie's great. You know, it, that's how I think that Inception's going to go down. <laughs> just laughing at me, Jimmy. Yeah. Just thinking of your mom. <laughs> he just can't leave it alone. <laughs> uh, in a world where technology exists to enter the human mind through dream invasion, a single idea within one's mind can be the most dangerous weapon or the most valuable asset. It almost sounds, almost sounds a little bit like... Uh, Oh great! Now, now I'm blanking. Uh, the Tom Cruise uh, oh, uh, Vanilla Sky. No, Valkyrie. No, no, no. <laughs> Valkyrie. Just start blurting them out. Yeah. Tom Cruise. Was Risky one. business. Uh, you know, with the uh, with the precogs. I don't know why I can't think of the name. Minority yeah, Report. Minority. Oh, Minority, Minority Report. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Mm. All right, Matt. I think and then we, yeah, the guess. other really great one I got to point out is going to be the Expendables. Oh, the Expendables. Yeah, with Stallone and Jason Statham. Yeah, there's a Jet bunch Lee. of people in that. Yeah. Yeah, like every action movie star from the 80s is Stone Cold's in that yeah. for a little bit. Stone Cold Steve Austin. And what have you heard about Michael J. Fox playing Beetle Bailey? <laughs> I haven't heard anything <laughs> about that. Okay. He's knocking things over, Sarge's yelling. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Beetle clumsy. <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard anything about that one. Matt. Yeah, keep your eye out for it. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely uh, will. <laughs> All right, Matt. We love your website, RottenTomatoes.com. Oh, thanks a lot. And uh, thanks for spending some time with us today. Thanks for having me. See you, Matt. All right. just, there goes Matt. Hand him two cans of olive draft green paint to shake <laughs> so they can paint the barracks. <laughs> Beetle <laughs> oh, His hat keeps falling off. <laughs> his hat. He's hitting the old general in the mustache. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> wow. I liked, I really did like your Marmaduke uh, idea with, where Marmaduke gets plowed over. <laughs> By Mel Gibson. Yes, yeah, by Mel, Mel Gibson. <laughs> making just a cameo. He screams. He, all you do is you see him on the phone. He's driving quickly and he's screaming heave into a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> and a dull thud. <laughs> Dog's body. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, shit. God damn, Jimmy. I'm going to do stinks. <laughs> That would be funny, Michael J. Fox and uh, Beetle Bailey. Uh, Beetle Bailey, but he's he's like the guy from Hurt Locker. He's got a diffuse bomb. <laughs> 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 it's an updated Beetle Bailey where he's actually in Iraq, <laughs> and that's the diffuse bomb. Beetle Kablooey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh, that would be horrible. Poor. Michael J. Fox. Why aren't you shaking Private Pyle's guts out? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right. Well, that was good. We got our uh, summer movie reviews. Uh, it was just terrific. And from uh, right from Rotten Tomatoes. Yes. I like how seriously we take it. I like how he was answering goof questions. He doesn't seem to. Re I heard him at the end, kind of quietly laughing. He was but laughing. I don't think he wants to really. He can't make it obvious. But join you, you can in hear with him the uh, a little bit. the revelry. the real disgusting yeah. shit that we tend to go to he didn't on like, a minutely basis. He didn't seem to enjoy the Marmaduke <laughs> no. evacuating liquid blood in front of uh, just William H Macy getting all pissed off because he's just leaving shit stains on his rug. Yeah, and, and, shit and blood stains. And he just buys a brand new white shag rug at a garage sale. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
<laughs> okay. No, we'll get Marmaduke fixed on us. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Yeah, Marmaduke's not fixed exactly. He's humping. He's coming on everything. I gotta put some of that true coat in his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's one of the best scenes in Fargo when they're just knocking on the door at the end. Open the door. Okay. All right. Be right there. Oh, He's in his underwear climbing out the is window. Just falling apart. Ah! Oh. Ah, he starts crying. Okay. All right. It's time to watch that movie again. <laughs> it's a great <laughs> All right. movie. Okay. Be right there. Okay. Okay. More stuff on the way. Well, it's busy, but that's the way we like it.